Good morning. It's Thursday. It's about 10. Darren and uh, Court have gone off to the storage unit to drop off some more stuff there so that we can clear some more stuff in the garage to put out, you know, to get out of the house to put in the garage. Darren and Court just came back as I'd started videoing. <laughs> um, the tractor working on the field. Um, yeah. Woke up this morning about six o'clock. We've not got any curtains yet on our bedroom window, and it was so lovely just to see out across the field. Darren's filling the car up again. That's what that noise is. Um, yeah, it's 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 going really well. Really pleased with how the house is sorting out, and we've just got a bit more to do this morning. And then Jenny's coming back this afternoon. It's about eleven o'clock. I don't know why I'm singing. Um, we're off to get some food because all we've got in is some milk and, and uh, dry crackers <laughs> so <laughs> uh, yeah we're gonna go get some lunch and some stuff stock up hold on man incoming we're looking pretty organized now oh our website's up and running again so you can get wax melts and jewelry on there um so we're all looking a lot better there's still bits that we need to sort out like the box and there's a bag over there but um we've got somebody else here now we've reclaimed our dog hello jenny <laughs> what do you make of it she's a bit upset because hubby's gone out he's gone to the unit to drop off some stuff and she wants to know where he is she loved the garden she had a good run around the garden she likes digging in the soil underneath that bush there. We've just got to secure some of the gaps in the fence there. But otherwise, it's pretty good, isn't it? Good morning. It's Saturday morning and we're just off to our first Lincolnshire car boot. So let's go see what we can get. We started work yesterday, did quite a lot of listing and stuff, had our first sale. Head southeast Orchard. It's about 20 past nine and it's just started raining again um, and the wind is so cold. We have got some stuff 
they're still having a look <laughs> i've come to get back in the car um yeah i really fancy a coffee but we know that there's a tabletop sale somewhere so somewhere not too far away so we might go and check that out but first of all i'm going to sit in the car and warm up So we just finished at the jumbo sale. This look how cute that little village hall is that we're just bringing in. Um can't even remember what we bought, but we bought some stuff. <laughs> I'll show you some of it and later things that I bought today. And then I'm sure Court will be uh, showing you other stuff that we buy. So we're back from the boot and we've put everything out on the table but i thought i'd show you the stuff that i picked up um either for my website for etsy possibly ebay but stuff that i'm gonna work on um this was the first pickup of the day i just thought it was really cute magic roundabout pop-up book vintage marks and spencers I haven't checked values of these sort of things yet, so but I love the colours in that. That was a brilliant book. Uh couldn't resist a vintage tin. Got this one with the Dutch boy and girl and the windmill in the background. That's gorgeous. Don't know what make that is. Scribbens Kemp Bakeries. Never heard of you. But yeah, I thought that was a lovely tin. Picked up some mud men. I love mud men particularly like this little one here um, and then I've got these four bigger ones at the back in the box that I bought them with came with these but uh, I think they'll probably just go back in a car boot box those few little bits paper mache boxes this one is a nice cashmere one um, not quite sure what it's depicting but interesting scenes going all the way around that one and then a nice floral one as well I also got this tin. I wasn't actually going to pick this up. This was with the paper mache boxes. And the guy said, oh, you should have this one as well. And um, he said, it's a real vintage one from 1979. And I said, oh, all right, then I will. I'll pick that up. I have actually looked on eBay and one like this is sold for 16.99. That surprised me. I've got a... A wee willy winky <laughs> candlestick holder. It's got its own little snuffer there as well. That I'm really pleased with. I thought I'd just pick these up. I don't know if they're worth anything at all. Celtic Oracle book and card. Use ancient folklore to foretell the future. Um, doesn't look like it's ever been used. I thought it's a lovely colours in the book. If nothing else, and pictures and whatever else so i'll see if that's worth anything and then this little one the little book of tarot have you ever wondered what fate has in store for you a little set of russian dolls i've not even opened up to see how many is inside there but that's a real lovely hand-painted russian doll set three vintage tea coffee and sugar jars 
need a bit of a clean up but they, they're pretty and then i've got this a nice mm. old saddler's i don't know what all that was about technology all right i got this vintage saddler teapot it does need a good soak but it's a classic brown glaze saddler england teapot so i picked that one up and then behind here some good old-fashioned flasks i thought these would look cool so three these two have got screw tops and this one's got a cork top i think i forgot to show you this box i picked this up because it's a musical box but it's got a leg missing so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that if you're interested in any of those things um as I say I'm not sure what I'm putting on it see what I'm putting on the website but it will be a few days before anything's going on line so get in touch with me straight away and I'll uh, list it for you if you're interested if you want to see any of the other stuff then you'll have to go over and watch the link to pickers video because that stuff will be on there um i keep thinking it's sunday and it's only saturday isn't it the sun's come out it looks really nice but it's still really really windy and i know it's windier in lincolnshire but this is exceptional i know because i have been to lincolnshire before so i don't know what we're doing for the rest of the day um i think we're trying to chill though because the last week's been full on so i think we're taking this afternoon as a bit of a chilling out this afternoon and then maybe going to car boots again tomorrow, depending on the weather. It all depends on the weather. I've had a hat on all morning at the car boots. So I've got a hat head. Um, yeah, I'm gonna round up the vlog. I don't know what else, uh, what I've videoed as usual, but I'll put it all together, see what happens. Um, points to remind you of, my website's open, my Etsy's open. Get in touch if you see anything that you're interested in and I can always get them listed. Um, Lincolnshire Pickers first ever video went live last night so you can go and watch that I'll leave a link to the channel in the description box so you can go over and um, there's a little bit more of the move and that sort of thing so you'll you'll get a bit more a little bit more of the moving over to Lincolnshire thing and then there'll be more videos going up soon um, yeah Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, I'm just sitting here basking in the sun from the window, <laughs> looking out on the view and having a relax. My husband is enjoying himself, rearranging the garage and um, I think Kurt's going to finish off her vlog, ready to go out tomorrow. Right, take care, stay safe and I will see you soon.